While it's no secret the quality of Kanye's work has taken a bit of a decline since 2022, based on some recent events, it seems that he is back collaborating with someone who is one of the biggest reasons albums like Donda are so respected. I love Leaky! Yes, I am of course talking about Mike Dean, and based on some recent activity from both Mike and Ye on social media, it seems like the two are back working together once again. While I'm sure I don't need to explain to you guys how much Mike has done for Ye throughout the years, some people may be confused on where he's been in recent months. The last time Mike and Ye closely worked together was for Donda 2, where Mike carried a huge portion of the engineering and producing load, with his work done on songs like Susie and Maintenance in particular standing out to me. Following Kanye's crash out in late 2022, however, Mike distanced himself from anything Yeezy related basically until a few days ago. Mike is for some reason credited on Back to Me from Vultures 1, but denies having any involvement with the project at all, with him actually ripping into the album quite a bit publicly. Regardless, it seems like all of that is water under the bridge, as a few days ago on October 18th, both Kanye and Mike posted the same picture of their younger selves working on music to Instagram. Now this came as a pretty big surprise, but in retrospect should not have shocked us as prior to that on October 6th, Mike actually played Fuck Some and the new piano version of Jail at one of his shows in Melbourne, Australia, indicating things had already been smoothed over between him and Ye. I Following the double post on October 18th, Mike again suggested he would be working on Bully by reposting two images to his story of him and Ye only four days later on October 22nd, essentially confirming the rumors. This is incredible news for any Ye fan because we all know how talented Mike is both as a producer and an engineer, and there's no doubt in my mind that he is going to cook on Kanye's new solo album. Speaking of Bully, we found out yesterday that Kanye held a private listening party for the new music two nights ago due to some news articles and photo reports. Apparently, Kanye both previewed Bully and held a photo shoot with Bianca in Tokyo in the same night, where it seems DJ Steve Aoki was in attendance. This could be good or bad depending on your view of Steve, as sometimes he can be very talented and other times he makes stuff like the Carnival remix. Regardless, the fact that Kanye has now decided on an actual album cover and previewed the new project in full to friends and family is some very strong indication that we are getting close to a drop. I don't want to speculate too heavily as we don't truly know, but I would personally be expecting probably some type of public LP and a release possibly as early as November. There really is no way to know what Kanye actually plans on doing, but the private LP and cover selection is at least screaming to me that this album is nearing completion. In other news, there's some miscellaneous items that I've neglected to speak on in the past couple videos, so let's go through that stuff. Starting off, we actually found out that Field Trip was an Uzi song before being passed to Don and ending up on Vultures due to a new leak a few days ago. It 
seems that producer Wheezy initially gave the beat to Uzi who decided to pass on the song after recording for it, which is how it ended up in possession of Don Tolliver and then eventually Kanye. Along with that, we finally found out what producer Starboy did for Ye when Lewitt leaked the files for the Phoenix Vultures listening party, which contained a version of Believer produced by Starboy. Make me a believer, make me that. 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 Back in September, Starboy posted on his Instagram story he would not be clearing anything for Kanye, which we now know was in reference to this Believer version, which was played all the way back in March at the Phoenix LP. And then finally, the last noteworthy thing I want to touch on is some explanation into the history of the song Fuck Some. While we knew that Quavo's Fuck Some vocals were initially a reference for Kanye, Ye himself did not record for the song until early 2024 after having Travis Scott record a new reference. So now we know that Travis likely had much more vocals on the song that were cut as Kanye ended up using them for his own verse, including the Alvin portion of the song. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you are hyped for Mike and Ye to be back together.